everyone welcome back to my channel nicole knows life i'm nicole if you are new thank you so much for joining me i do motherhood and lifestyle videos if you are new so don't forget to hit that subscribe button for me and join my community i am back with a fall clean with me part two this time i am cleaning my daughter's room as you all know and if you don't know this i live with my parents so part of my daughter's room is my mom's office um, just temporarily until we move out <laughs> but mainly the room is full of luna's clothes and toys as you can see here it was super super dirty and really just messy not really dirty per se but toys and clothes just everywhere and that's because we have a hectic life throughout the week i am working so it is really hard for me to just kind of clean during the week and even if i do clean she normally messes it up anyways I started by kind of just trying to pick up all her dirty clothes and move those out the way I knew those were dirty clothes because part of that is me just kind of changing her out of her regular clothes into pajamas and then getting her into you know fresh pajamas since we really don't go anywhere <laughs> during the week and her hamper was full of clean clothes so it was like all right it's time to just get these separated and get it all organized also she had a bunch of books and toys so i wanted to try to get at least all of her little toys her books and start picking those up off the floor when i clean i like to listen to music i don't like to have like you know good clothes on because i never know if i'm going to be sweating or, or spraying stuff so i try to just clean in my pajamas so excuse the gym pajama pants <laughs> Once I pretty much got all of her toys, because I had recently cleaned her room and organized and really condensed down the clothes and toys, I really like to do a deep cleaning every now and again, especially when there is a fresh start to a new season, because while it is still hot here in Arizona, I do want to separate her spring and summer clothes from her winter and fall clothes. This is helpful because honestly next year she's not going to be wearing the same size so I usually just kind of go through all of her spring and summer clothes that aren't her size or bigger and I donate those because like I said I know for a fact she's not going to be able to wear those the following year especially if you have kids you understand that having um growing kids they're not going to be in the same size sometimes and so there's no need to really keep those clothes um i did pull up her bed because as you can see there's a lot of trash under her bed and it's mainly from our dog who likes to chew up tissue so i wanted to just go ahead and get all that because i had seen that and i was like all right time to clean this up too and she had a bunch of little trash all over the floor then i headed into the closet um i was unpacking a bag that was like packed a month ago that i never really truly fully unpacked um still had a few little things in there like those shoes and whatnot um her toys she has a toy box in that closet as well so i needed to go ahead and just kind of straighten up the closet move those big old toys that were on her toy box and pick up the toys off the floor i try to put her bigger toys in her toy box so that way she can find them and um, if she wants to come up to her room and play She also loves little figurines, so she has this, um, I think it was supposed to be a hamper, but it was really cute unicorn little toy bin that I used to put all her tiny little figurines in, and that way she can find those easily instead of digging through a big old toy box for those. And here I'm just kind of picking up the trash, moving the big toys out the way, because the last thing that I really needed to tackle were those clothes. And I just kind of try to do those last because that's just the easiest. So after I dump all her toys back into her toy box, I like to put her big toys that don't fit 
on top. I pick up the rest of any trash, any little toys that she may have, and put those in the closet as well. She had a ton of clean clothes that were in that hamper that I mentioned earlier, so I needed to fold those up and separate those and see what um, you can see here. I'm struggling with this uh, buggy that she got. I couldn't figure out how to put on the umbrella part, so I was like, okay, well, I don't know where this goes. I couldn't remember how it was because she took it apart, so I was like, okay, whatever. We'll deal with that later. <laughs> But I picked up any more trash that she had, and yes, I like to listen to music, so I'm changing the song here. But yeah, every time we cleaned up her clean clothes, we kind of just kept throwing them on top of this hamper. So I went ahead and tackled this and folded up all her clothes. And it was also nice to see what I could separate too, because again because the seasons are changing a lot of these clothes might not make it to next year but since we are still in the house i let her wear them as lounge clothes mainly because a lot of her clothes come from walmart and target anyway so it's not like that they are like super expensive they're very easily replaceable and you know they're cheap clothes so it's nice to have something comfortable to walk around in around the house Once I finished folding up her clean clothes, I went through her makeshift drawers again because we live with my parents. I have not bought any real furniture for us because we plan to buy all new furniture when we buy our house. So stay tuned because I will be bringing you guys another house video update really, really soon. But in the meantime, I had to separate a lot of her clothes because a lot of this stuff she hadn't even worn yet or some of it was just way too small and I knew that it was like time for me to go ahead and get rid of it and make room because like I said she will be getting new clothes every season so a lot of that stuff was just unnecessary to just keep and I'd rather just donate it and especially because a lot of this stuff was still in good condition. Once I finished her um, clothes, as you can see, she has decided to join me. But I went ahead and wanted to give her some fresh um, sheets and blankets because it's always nice to sleep in fresh blankets. And because she does sleep in a pull-up, I'm not sure if it leaks sometimes or stains and smells like pee. So I like to just take that off and, you know, wash her blankets every week. After I took her bed sheets off and got those done and made sure all the little toys were picked up, I decided to go ahead and vacuum. Vacuuming is a must. It keeps your carpet fresh and clean and that way you don't have to be walking on dirt all the time. But yes, vacuuming is pretty much the finishing touch. And I definitely had to vacuum under her table where her fish are because she has a lot of fish food <laughs> that she spills. After vacuuming, I do like to wash all her clothes and her sheets that I had. And also, I needed to wash clothes for myself anyways. So, laundry is also all, almost always included in any cleaning day that I have. Because it's definitely a must. 
Also, I wanted to share with you guys, I like to use Tide. Uh, they're 10X Power Pods. They work amazing, get stains out. And if you have kids, you know that getting stains out of clothes is really, really hard. So I definitely recommend these. Um, I'm not sponsoring anything, it's just something that I would recommend. And I like to use Downy um, Fabric Softener as well. The liquid fabric softener while you're washing because it just makes your clothes a little bit softer. And I still like to add a dryer sheet with it anyways, but you don't have to. <laughs> and once we finished, her room was nice and clean. Again, I don't touch my mom's area because that's her work stuff. And I don't want to like mess up anything, but her room was nice and clean. I didn't get to make up her bed because I was still washing her bed sheets. But as you can see, you can see the floor now, <laughs> which is always a plus. see her room is finally clean I also had everything nice and organized her closet was also finished there were no more um, clothes everything was in the right place so the top hamper was dirty clothes like it's supposed to be her drawers were clean clothes and uh, nice and folded and separated and organized and the top of the closet was also clean um, any extra toys and clothes that i couldn't fit into those drawers because again i'm not buying furniture until we move <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button give this video a big thumbs up and i will see you guys next time